Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is the 4th of January, 2024. We're going to talk about uh, ApeCoin today because the sentiment has definitely changed from the price action yesterday. You guys can see it from the price bar on yesterday. The market ended down almost 13 and three quarters of a percent. Very drastic move to the downside. Something that has altered um, the price action that we anticipated on our last video, which was on December the 25th, right here. We were looking for the price in ApeCoin to go higher, and we cannot say that we're not surprised to see ApeCoin not to go up. And that's because of these sell zones up here that we talked about on our video on that day, right here, these sell zones right here. And as you can tell, as we produced the video on the 25th, ApeCoin ran across that area as resistance the next day. That was the high, and since then, it has been trending down. Now, the reason why we need to alter and change our prediction here in ApeCoin it's because the market did not even hold this buy zone down at the bottom. It definitely traded well below that on yesterday's trading. And now that buy zone is being seen as of right now as resistance. So we need to transfer this buy zone into being a sell zone now. Okay. So let's go ahead and move that and make it look like it's a sell zone here. And let's get rid of this price prediction here. 15.33% in ape coin there and next thing we're going to get rid of is the trend line look at this zooming out the price action in ape coin is no longer trending bullish on that trend so we need to get rid of that because it's not applicable and here this is the current lay of the land this is how the market currently looks in ape coin how do we look do we look bearish now do we look bullish or does it seem as if the market's going to continue to trade within a range that may be the case we still may see the market in ape coin trade within a range and rather than us see this as a sell zone here, we may need to produce a buy zone into the market for a coin. And we're going to go ahead and do that now. So let's look at the 330 minute chart. Look at this on the minute. I want to see how bad that move was to the downside here. Okay, so you guys can see where a buy zone is. Right here is where the buy zone is into the market in ApeCoin. So we identify that area. That is gonna be our buy zone, i.e. just simply a support price, that's all. And this area at the very top is gonna be um, sell zones. This is also a sell zone now into the market in ApeCoin until we see the market break above that to the upside. Take a look at ApeCoin real quick on the one hour chart. You guys can see that it has been making buy zones here as well but this sell zone up here at the top that we just switched and transitioned from a buy zone is still being seen as resistance right there okay here it is on the seven hour chart you guys can see it right there Let's look at this on a different hourly time frame real quick So let's look at this on the two day chart. Let's see in the long term if we're still looking weak in the market in ApeCoin. So it looks to me like this massive volatility that is currently on the chart for ApeCoin on the two day time frame. it looks like a probable precursor of strength, meaning that it can still go both ways. We're definitely seeing buyers hit the market in ApeCoin off of this massive move to the downside. They felt that when price came down to a buck 25, they definitely opened up their wallets and began buying there. Then they also came through at this buy zone a dollar forty and began buying there. So as long as you see the market stair step its way to the upside in price in ApeCoin, that may be the bottom. It just may, very well may be. Here's on the five-day chart. Here's ApeCoin on the weekly time frame thus far. Here's on the two. Okay. Here's ApeCoin on three weeks. Ape on the five. 3.30. So I'll have to say, let me tell you what I am about to do. I'm going to have to play the weakness to the downside to the market in the ape coin. And this is the reason. First reason is because the buyers could not break above our sell zones on our prior video. That's one reason. The second reason is because the buyers did not hold price at this initial buy zone at $1.50 price crater below that price level 
The third reason is because the trend line is no longer applicable. We got rid of that. The fourth reason is with this increased volatility right here, that very wide spread, that has to mean that sentiment has shifted. Now, just because we're seeing the price closing off of the lows doesn't mean that this price is finished with going lower. So even though I'm going to play the weakness to the downside in Apecoin, I'm not going to be like telling that the price is going to run down to 50 cents or 75 cents. I don't think it's that weak. Given that we saw the price recover from that 13, 14 percent move down yesterday, it gives me pause to say that Apecoin is going to continue to go a lot lower in price. So just keep that in mind as we produce this prediction, this forecast, okay? I'm gonna bring up my sell zone for a coin. So there it is right there. Now, we're gonna look for price to go down in ApeCoin. And these are the targets. First target is gonna be here, which is $1.40, which is 5.33% there. Second target is going to be here which gives us 11.28%. And then third target will be back on the low. Well, let's do it here on the low of this buy zone at the bottom, $1.25, which is 15.46% move down. That is it, I am done. Hopefully I didn't waste your time. I wanted you to see a different vantage point of how to understand the market dynamics, see what's going on to try to get ahead of the game. That's how we're able to be more competitive amongst our market participants in these cryptocurrency spaces is by trying to think ahead. You know, how does the human mind works? Even if it was programmed by algorithm, if algorithm is controlling these trades, it had to be coded by a human being, right? Well, at least right now that's the case. But this is kernel I'm seeing into the market now, ApeCoin. We'll see if the buyers can hold price in ApeCoin like they're currently doing right now. If that's the case, I'll have to come back in and change my idea. Just got to see what happens. Give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.